Good morning, riders, and welcome back to Rider News. As you may know, we here in Rider Country really love to show our pride. Not just in school, but throughout the community as well. The annual Rider Pride Day was about a month ago. Let's take a look at all the fun that happened across our district. Good morning, riders. October 12th, as some of you may know, is Rider Pride Day. Today we celebrate our community and our school district. Let's see what some of the folks here have to say. So I feel as though this event really helps bring the community together because people from all around the school district and even the, the students that don't attend any of the schools were able to come together, have a good time with everybody else from the community. So some of the things that we really enjoy here at the event are always the fire trucks, the petting zoo, and I think their most favorite things are the candy. So how I feel Rider Pride Day is um, bringing everyone else together is because of all the things that people come out to. So like having our VED or um, all the sports teams or the elementary schools and the middle schools coming together doing their thing. Everyone's going to be in, uh, around each other and I think that's a really important thing to be able to be um, part of the community and know who's around you and what's going on. A lot has happened here in these past few hours. Another Friday down, many more to come. We hope to see you there next time. Have a good day, riders. That sounded really fun. Thanks for the scoop, Chris. 2019 has been a big year for Rider Pride, but some riders are taking it all the way back to the 1500s. Students from Advanced Lit and AP European History recently took an annual trip to the Renaissance Fair in Pennsylvania. Let's take a look at what James and Derek got for us while they were there. <laughs> On October 15th, the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair was in full swing. The first impression upon walking into the fairground comes from the medieval era architecture and the aesthetic in every corner. From the buildings to the statues, all the way to the actors, every aspect of the event immersed fairgoers into the culture of the Renaissance. I really love the costumes. Um, I'm really into costuming, um, and I really like to see, you know, like the way people would have dressed in different centuries and how dramatically different it is. I also really like the food. I'm a big fan of the big turkey leg situation. Um, some of the actors are really great too. I, mean, I just I feel like I have a a good understanding of it and can uh, explain it in a in a way that doesn't make you want to take a nap. I feel like going to the Renaissance Fair is a really exciting trip because it allows students to learn about history while doing something that is enjoyable. So I know that studying Shakespeare for some students can be kind of dry, um, so I like to try to spice it up by bringing my kids to the Renaissance Fair. The fair has many things to see. All around the park, costume characters roam about the area, which is also filled with stores and great shows, such as the Falconeering Showcase and last but not least, the Joust, which we will now leave you with. The Renaissance Fair looks like a great time. If you're interested, be on the lookout for signups next year. And now it's time for a commercial break. And now let's take a look at our weekly segments. Hello, everyone. This week's My Way Cafe is Taco Bar. On Monday, the lunch will be barbecue pulled pork sandwich with cream spinach and steamed carrots. On Tuesday, we will have General Tso's chicken with rice, vegetables, and steamed corn. I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving break. My name is Senorunas. I teach Spanish here at Cesar High School. Uh, my tip for all students is that you should take care of yourself. That means get enough sleep at night and don't sacrifice sleep for homework. Take care of your body, go to bed on time, and when you wake up, feed yourself before you come to school. If you don't take care of you, 
no one's going to take care of you. That's my tip. And that's all for this week. Make sure you watch our Thanksgiving special next Tuesday. I'm Evan Chang. And I'm Akshay Bachavala. And this has been Rider News. News.